Small cell lung cancer, or SCLC, is an aggressive subtype of lung cancer with few treatment options. Existing therapies for patients with disease progression after first-line therapy have exhibited limited efficacy with significant toxicity, underscoring the urgent need for novel targeted therapies. The notch signaling pathway is known to regulate cell differentiation in SCLC. The inhibitory notch ligand delta-like ligand 3, DLL3, is expressed on the surface of a majority of SCLC cells and on other high-grade neuroendocrine carcinomas, whereas its expression is extremely low and primarily cytoplasmic in normal cells. Tarlotamab is a bispecific T-cell engager, or a bite molecule which binds to DLL3 expressed on the surface of cancer cells and to CD3 on T cells. Bite molecules are a type of targeted immunotherapy. Tarlotamab induces the formation of a cytolytic synapse between the T cell and SCLC cell, resulting in pore formation, transfer of granzymes, and apoptosis of the SCLC cell, leading to T cell-mediated tumor cell lysis. T-cell activation is also associated with transient cytokine release that is primarily associated with the first cycle of treatment. An international team of researchers have evaluated the safety and efficacy of tarlotamab in a Phase I clinical study conducted on 107 heavily pretreated patients with a refractory or relapsed SCLC. 73 of these patients constituted the dose exploration cohort and 34 patients constituted the dose expansion cohort. Patients received tarlotamab at one of the planned exploratory doses that ranged up to 100 mg administered intravenously once every two weeks. The study revealed an overall response rate of 23.4% and a disease control rate of 51.4%. Further, in this study, tarlotamab monotherapy delivered durability both in median duration of response at 12.3 months and in the median progression-free and overall survival at 3.7 months and 13.2 months, respectively. Treatment-related adverse events, TRAEs, were manageable with standard treatments. TRAEs were observed in 90.7% of patients, with grade 1 cytokine release syndrome being the most common. Cytokine release syndrome is expected based on the mechanism of action of tarlotamab and was primarily observed in the first cycle of treatment. Neutropenia and neurologic events were also observed as TRAEs. Overall, these findings suggest that tarlotamab showed a manageable safety profile with encouraging response durability and the potential to represent a new treatment option for patients with SCLC, 